Welcome to the Prelude in Computer Science series video number five on binary numbers otherwise known as base 2. The base 2 number system is used in computers instead of base 10 because uh, electronic components that represent binary are better than those that represent decimal based on two criteria. They're easier to design and they're cheap to build. Base 2 is also called binary and it works very similarly to base 10. Recall that base 10 uses the, the digits 0 to 9 and that there is no single digit that represents 10. Uh, then base 2 works very similarly in the sense that it uses only the digits 0 and 1 and there is no single digit that represents 2 in base 2. Uh, it's also similar because the value of a digit depends on its position in the number and so base 2 is positionally weighted just like base 10 however the weights are powers of 2 instead of powers of 10 when you're using base 2 base 2 numbers are composed of bits bit or bit means binary unit or binary digit the bit can be either 0 or 1, which corresponds to either a high or a low voltage in some electronic component. We can also view 0 and 1 as corresponding to true and false, where false is 0 and true is 1. Now, binary logic means two-state logic. Notice that the expansion of a base 2 number is just like the expansion of a base 10 number except that the weights are powers of 2 instead of powers of 10. Now in this diagram I haven't shown all of the arrows in the, the base 2 example because the diagram would get quite cluttered. So I'm going to ignore the 0 terms because 0 times anything including any power of 2 is always going to be 0. So just looking at the terms that are 1 uh, and expanding those, we have 1 times 2 to the power 11 plus 1 times 2 to the power 5 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared. So I take each of those powers of 2 where there is a 1 for the digit, and uh, I compute that exponent. So 2 to the power of 11 is equal to 2048. 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. 2 cubed is equal to 8 and 2 squared is equal to 4. When you add those up, 2048 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4, you get 2092 or 2092. Again, you just pull out the exponents where the digit is equal to 1 or the bit is equal to 1. You compute the exponent and then you add them all together and that gives you the base 10 version of that number. So 2092 base 10 is equal to that long string of, dit of bits base 2. Notice that I put spaces between blocks of four bits for easy reading. Now binary is very well suited to the computer but it's not so well suited for the for human use. Notice that we have put the base in the lower right hand corner of the number and that the base itself is always written in base 10 by convention. Bits are often grouped together the most common grouping is 8 bits, which makes a byte. 4 bits make a nibble, or half a byte. 16 bits make a half word, or 2 bytes. 32 bytes, 32 bits, or 4 bytes, makes a full word. 64 bits is a double word, and 128 bits is a quad word. Now, a bit can be either a 0 or a 1 and nothing else. A single bit therefore has two possible states or values. 
the number of bits determines the number of distinct states that those bits can represent. So two bits can represent four distinct states, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Three bits can represent eight distinct states, as listed here. And n bits can represent two to the n distinct states. Finally, it's very simple to add bits. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. But 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 0. Notice that 1 and 1 make 2, but there's no way to write 2 with a single digit in base 2. Instead, 2 becomes 0, carry 1. This concludes our introduction to the binary number system. Thank you.